So I'm Andrew. Um, I work in Area 1-2, so the Sunken Garden is part of that. This year we have an edible garden. Yeah, it's the first time it's happened. Um, I think this year we wanted to do that in order to showcase um, that you can grow your own vegetables, especially with um, climate change and you wanting to get like vegetables closer to home. Um, shop local, buy your groceries from local farms, but you can also grow your own. And it can look beautiful in like a formal garden. So this year we're growing a lot of um, sweet potato and peppers and beans and artichokes, uh, everything you see here. And it looks, it's looking really pretty. Everything's in bloom. Everything's coming up right now. The majority of it at the end of this play, we're going to harvest everything and then give it to a food bank, which is what we do also with the apples and the orchard. So here we have a bunch of uh, vegetables. We have the artichoke, which are starting to flower, which we wanted because they're going to look beautiful that way. They're going to have this nice purple thistly flower. Um, we have the peppers, we have the scarlet runner, and then we have the dahlias growing in there, which come back every year. Um, and it's kind of nice the way the dahlias um, interact with the scarlet runner bean, which is what we're also going for, like kind of showing like the um, formality of a vegetable garden. So this is my favorite part of the sunken, which is ironically, it was a mistake. This pumpkin seed got it mixed in with some of these peppers and it just sprouted, which was lucky because we had a lot of vole activity here, so they were eating the peppers, so it actually covers that up. So we built this trellis um, right here, kind of as a ladder to bring it up out of the garden and then to have it, we're gonna wanna grow the pumpkins up here and so people can see them. Um, so, I mean, that's part of the way of farming is, you know, it's a lot of mistakes and just going with what adaptations you can make. All right, so in this bed we have sweet potato, which is just starting to flower, pineapple sage, and the passion flower in the back there. Um, but I want, what I wanted to show was that sometimes you don't have to weed everything, and sometimes the weeds that pop up can be uh, beneficial. And in this case, it's purslane, which is popping up here and pretty common, um, at least in our garden. And we sometimes weed it, we usually weed it, but um, it's actually really good for you and it tastes, it has a little bit of lemony flavor and it pops in your mouth. Um, and so it's really good in salads. Um, so on the farm I used to work for, we would leave it and then we'd actually sell it and the people loved it. Um, so sometimes weeds can be good, um, especially when they're edible and good for you. So the fruitful garden is really fruitful right now. So we hope you come out. We look forward to seeing you.